Hey team, welcome back to my channel. The source code for this video is available on my GitHub account. Here is the URL, and then look for a file called concurrency.sql. Now, we're going to be learning about the row version data type. Now, the row version data type is a special data type in SQL Server that's used to track changes to a row. So each time we either do the insert or update statements, the row version column automatically is updated. I want you to think of the row version data type as a change detector for each row. That's all it is. So every time it gets touched, that value automatically gets changed. Let's create a table called cust account m. Notice that we have a column of type row version. And then we're going to see how the insert statement and the update statement behave with this row version data type. Ready? So notice here, I'm going to do an insert and then right away, I'm going to print the contents of that insert command. And notice that the RV, the row versions value is 18,058. So every time we use the insert command, this value of data type row version automatically gets set. Now, when we use the update statement, it also gets updated. Remember, it is a change detector. So notice here, I'm now going to do the update statement and then I'm going to print out the change. So notice here, now it's 59. So every time the update statement executes, this value changes. Let's do two more, 63 and 64. You got it. What we're going to try to simulate is I have a person at a bank teller and then at an ATM machine, and they're going to try to execute a command at the same time to kind of steal money from the bank. But let's see how we can protect our database. So here you can see that how can I use this row version? So before we do the update command, you know, the update command here, before we can do that, we have to get the current value from the row version, and I'm going to call that RV. So you can see here that I'm going to say select the balance and the row version from the account where customers won. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to print that out so you can see that. So let's go ahead and do this. So notice here, before I start executing it, the row value is 18,070. The bank has right now, and for this account, has $600. Then you can see here, I'm going to wait for 15 seconds. And then I'm going to print the same value. I'm going to go get the row version from the database and my variable that we got from the select statement and the bank balance. And then I'm going to do the updates command. But the second part of this is we have to use the RV value in the update statement. So notice I get it here and then I use it here. Now, remember when we do the update command, this value changes. So let's keep it simple. 1870 is here. Then this window is going to fire and I'm only waiting five seconds over here. This update statement is going to change it to 1871. Then I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say, oh, what's RV? Well, RV was set at 1870. But unfortunately, this row in the database is now 71, 1871. So this is not going to execute. So let's go ahead and do this and let's see how this works. Ready? So I'm in my bank teller. I'm going to begin a transaction. I'm going to go get the current values. I'm going to wait 15 seconds. I'm going to try to take out $500 from customer one, and then I'm gonna commit that. I'm gonna show you your output. Ready, execute. Now I'm at the ATM machine. We're gonna do the same thing. Let's go ahead and execute. As you can see here, the ATM just fired. 1870 was our RV, our row version, and there was $600 in our account. So that was before. And then after, is when we started the timer and notice we're still at 1870 and 600 dollars then we did the update command uh oh look at the rv change to 1871 and the balance is now set to 300 
Let's go find out what happened after the bank teller. So on this first set, notice 1870, 1870. Well, that was before. Remember, we executed this from the database to get the current version of RS. The bank had $600 in there. Then, remember, I started the ATM. Now I'm waiting 15 seconds. Now on this after, notice the database is now it's set at 1871, but my variable on top is still 1870. Notice their difference. But notice the bank value balance is already changed to $300. So now when I come down here and try to execute this RV is RV, notice RV is 1870. But the database is 1871. This right here does not execute. I then do a commit and then I show you my output. So my output 1871, notice the bank balance is now 300. And that is how you do concurrency SQL Server using the row version data type.